Only on two tonight, more than a dozen families about to be forced back out on the streets after being promised a place to live. Now, their leases are not being renewed at the Champions Creek Apartments and their hope of finding a solution fading fast. Channel 2's Brandon Walker at the complex off Walters Road. He's joining us live with what he has uncovered about this. Brandon? Yeah, well, Bill, the big question here is where is the money? For the residents here at this apartment complex who have been affected by all of this, they pay part of the rent. The other part of their rent is paid for by a nonprofit organization. And that's the problem, according to the owner of this apartment complex, who tells us that nonprofit organization has run out of money. We're not renewing my lease. It's a letter that knocked the wind straight out of Moni Greed. And I was like, whoa. Robert Butler and roughly a dozen other tenants of Champions Creek Apartments in Northwest Harris County told they'll have to go by May 31st. It took us a long time to either get into these apartments. For many of the families here, home has been a long time coming. A new beginning. Home at Champions Creek meant stability for Reed and her son Jeremiah, who has autism. So I lost my job, so me and my son went, we went, we went homeless. So we went to the, we got, we went to the store home. Doors down at Robert Butler's, a similar tale. He's a single father raising his five children. Before living here, they too lived in a shelter. We're all thinking that we're going to be here for the first year, then we're going to actually be able to renew our leases, and the ones like myself who are trying to save and work, then we'll be able to start taking our own, you know, where we're paying more of it than, than the rapid. He's talking about rapid rehousing, a program that helps homeless people find a place and keep it. Rapid pays part of the rent in turn, but that's no more, at least according to the owner of Champions Creek. He spoke to KPRC off camera, telling us the organization that runs Rapid Rehousing informed him that it no longer has the money to foot part of the rent. That's kind of hard if you don't have the funds. Monique Reed and others affected by this say not much has been said about what's going on other than the letter they received. I don't want to go back to the shelter. No one here does. What they want are answers. What's going on and why? I'm kind of anxious. Most of the families that were moved over here, we were kind of going through a lot of hardships. So there's a program that helped all us get over here. And the owner tells us that he doesn't want anybody to be kicked out and placed on the streets, and he's willing to work with them as they work to find the money to pay for all of this. Meantime, we did reach out to the nonprofit organization. We have not heard back as of this broadcast, but once we do, we'll be sure to update you on air and online. We are live tonight in Northwest Harris County. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. And we'd appreciate that update, Brandon. Thanks.